This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Friends and family, we have reason to celebrate this day. This day that the Lord has made, we are gathered in the sight of God to witness, participate, and celebrate the uniting of Josh Wittenberg and Kia Puller in marriage. Marriage is a gift and a blessing from God as well as a picture of God's unending love for His people, the church. But doubtably blessed is the couple who comes to the marriage altar with the approval and love of their families. Genesis 2, 24 states, The Lord God said that a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Who has the honor of presenting Kia to be married to Josh? Let us pray. Dear Lord, we ask you that you join us in this service, a ceremony of celebration, commitment, and worship. As natural as it is to focus the attention during a wedding on the bride and groom, you know that it is Josh and Kia's desire that we turn our attention to you, God, our Lord and Savior. Before you, it's coming. Who would have thought? Who'd have thought? For this is you, Lord, that we now request your presence. It is you that we ask for the blessing on the lives of Josh and Kia as they are married. For it is only through you that we have life and have it abundantly. Lord, for Josh and Kia, we ask that every thought that enters their mind be a clear confirmation of your presence in their life, and that today their commitment to each other will be sealed for all time. Daddy's getting married. Hey, Daddy. You look good. Clean up nice, buddy. Today, Josh and Kia are going to be married. Yeah. It is their heartfelt desire that let this time be both their wedding ceremony and a worship service. They will exchange wedding rings. They will exchange glances, smiles, perhaps a tear or two. Don't start crying yet, Josh. And then at one fine moment, we will pronounce them man and wife. But until then, let us reveal the glory of God, our Lord, and join Josh and Kia in this. One of the most outstanding moments in their lives. Buttercup, my sweet Kia, today is finally the day I get to call you my wife. After all the stress and craziness from the past several weeks, we get to finally see this beautiful day we've been wanting. I never thought I'd see this day come so quickly and finally here we are. I want to thank you for the two and a half years for pure happiness, laughter, and love with my best friend. I truly thank God every single day for you and your love. From this day moving forward, I promise to love you, cherish you, and protect you, always. I promise to be the most responsible husband you deserve, because you are my perfect wife. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, and start our journey with you by my side. I love you forever and always, your future husband. To my soon-to-be husband, Josh, no amount of words could explain how blessed I am to have you as my person. Because of you, I know what love is. I knew you loved me before you ever said the words. Since the day we began our spiritual divine journey together, you've shown me nothing but love, grace, and an immense amount of patience. I've always been told that I'm a lot to deal with, but you make it look easy sometimes. You've seen every flaw and imperfection, and you've loved on each one without judgment. You have always been a source of light and love to not only myself, but to so many. And I'm beyond blessed that I get to call you my best friend, life partner, and soulmate. As your future wife, 
I want you to know that I will always support you through the good and bad. I'll grow and evolve with you. And I will always challenge you. I'll inspire you and I'll never stop loving you. Kia. All right, ready? One, two, two three. three. Nice. Wow. Fancy. Fancy. You like it? I do. Oh, you look really good. You like it? Yeah. Thanks. You clean up well. Me too. Let's have yeah. some fun. On this day, Josh and Kia have decided to embark on this new adventure of marriage. This union is sacred and something that they will walk and grow in together. The garden symbolizes the beginning and continuation of their journey of marriage and what they are going to build together. Please pick up the rake and together you are going to draw a path through the sand which will act as a stream of water. This path represents the journey you have chosen to embark on together. It is carved out by you and walked on by you. Just as the two of you are intentional about drawing, drawing this path, you are to intentionally love each other and how you want and shape how you want your relationship to be. Now that you have drawn <laughs> the stream, place the bridge at the beginning of it. Here is where you two will walk over this metaphorical bridge into the union of marriage. Now place the fish in the stream. Just as these fish swim upstream, so shall you. A fish has times where the water is flowing in the direction it is going as it helps propel it to its destination, and sometimes the water is pushing back on the fish. But it has made a decision to get to where it is going to survive and thrive despite where the water is going. It still moves forward. Take this to show you that there will be times where all is against you and that all is going smoothly. So since you two are going to say I do, you will continue to move forward. As you place the rocks around the garden, they will serve as symbols of sacrifices, hardships, and battles you will go through. While they are present and guaranteed to happen, they will not shake you. They will only be stones that, will that you will climb over and help each other conquer. They will serve as reminders of where you have been and what makes your marriage unique and beautiful. The bonsai tree represents God's covering over you. Regardless of what you go through, sickness or health, rich or poor, good or bad, God will be with you, covering you and keeping you. Your union is covered and nothing can break what God covers. Now as you take your letters, Place them in this glass and you are agreeing to grow together, give up yourselves daily, and love endlessly, enjoying the joys of marriage. And by placing this garden in your home, may it remind you of the vows you have written and the choice you have made to love each other from this day forward. So I wanted to share a little bit about how Josh and Kia met. It's kind of weird. Lucas has a big part to play. Maybe Hector, Mylan, and Kai were present. And kind of like half their family because it was at an upward basketball game. Kia came in to watch her brothers play basketball, little knowing that she was going to meet the man of her life. In his little upward uniform, <laughs> sitting next to me on the bench, Josh sees Kia for the first time and he looks at us and says, wow. And it took him two to three weeks just to go and ask her on a date. Actually, Lucas claims that he's the one that went up to her and said, hey, my brother really likes you and wants to take you out on a date. So to the brothers, we thank you, bro. But I'm not gonna lie, it was probably me who started it all, but it's okay. But the cool thing was is that 
Josh fell in love with Kia, man, from the first day he started dating her. And I was able to witness it, and Kia, I just want to tell you, you got a good guy. You got a good guy. And Josh, obviously, you know, Kia is amazing, and the times that we've been able to spend overseas and here, I can tell that you have a heart for God and a heart for Josh. And so we're excited for your union and your marriage. And so it is love that forges this relationship and love that will sustain it. It is now time for each of you to share your vows. Kia, do you take Josh to be your husband, to live in holy marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Thank you. Josh, do you take Kia to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. May we now have Josh and Kia's wedding ring. Lucas was super scared about this part. Josh, as you place Kia's ring on her left hand, re please repeat after me. Kia. Kia. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the, Father. In the name of the Son, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Kia, as you place Josh's ring on his left hand, please repeat after me. Josh, I give you this ring. Josh, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have, and all that I, have I, honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Josh and Kia, you are husband and wife, according to the witness of Christ Universal Church, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Please join me in recognizing Josh and Kia Wittenberg. Josh, you may kiss the bride. Josh and Kia Wittenberg. How's it going everybody? I'm the best man. I wrote a speech down because I bet I'll get a remembering. I knew this day was gonna come, but I didn't know it was gonna come so soon. Like any happy or sad story, everything must come to an end. But not for you. Your story has just begun. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for the both of y'all. I don't want to spoil anything, but it'll be filled with much love and success. 
I'm thankful to be your best man on this special day and to stand by your side. I'm trying not to. Yeah, it's just allergies. You know, the elevation is just like, oh man. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna miss you so much, Josh. <laughs> Thank you for being the best brother and the best sister-in-law in the world, and I love you. That's it. Hey, um, I'm Amaya, and yeah, she is my um, big sister. Um, let's stop, you're making me nervous. Um, and, stop talking. Um, you know, our relationship is, was a little rocky when I was younger, and it's like come a long way. And, um, yeah, I don't really talk to a lot of people, so Kia is kind of like my person. You know, I think I was every, like, just to talk to her about little things. But, um, you know, I don't think I can do a lot know that I do now without her and I just hope you know when she gets married you know she still uh, keeps me around you know and um, yeah this is hi Josh and Kia I'm so glad and so relieved that this day has come I want to just tell you I remember Josh when he first started dating her he would bring flowers every day every day he would come over with his little flowers <laughs> so we were really surprised that he was still around and then after a year and he's still bringing flowers and I'm like okay he's pretty consistent so I know that they celebrate the small things and a lot of people feel like um, that marriage is this box full of love and full of relationships and, and romance, but the box is empty. The love and the patience and all those things are in you, and you've got to put it in that box every single day to nurture it, to be there for one another, to support each other through the good times and bad times, to not lose yourself in one another, to support each other's dreams, goals, and aspirations, and continue to fill that box because if you continue to take more out than you put in, you just got an empty box. So work on just all of those elements that make you so great and continue to bring your flowers. Welcome to the family, Josh, and I love you, sweetheart. Um, so thank you everyone for coming out. I know a lot of people had to travel far, so thank you so much. Thank you for being patient with us. But Kia and Josh really appreciate all of your love and support. Um, we couldn't be here without any of you. Um, and so that's why you're here because you are part of their love. And so thank you for celebrating with all of us. And now it's time to party. Yeah.